You got it, Doc. Barney's old friend, aren't you? Maybe you can help him. Snipers trapped him up on that warehouse roof. He was going for a cache of grenades, but I doubt he can get to them now. Go on, Dr. Freeman. Good idea, Dr. Freeman. Upstairs, they took their chances with the snipers. I guess they're still up there. Zombies! I can't move. These snipers got me pinned down. That'll clear them out. Gordon, take out these snipers, would you? That's 
One down, one to go, buddy. You're quite the returning hero these days, Gordon. Civil protection status still gives me limited clearance. Did you hear a cat just now? That damn thing haunts me. or something like that. Whatever the hell it used to be, now it's a nexus for Overwatch in City 17. It's the main source of pain for this part of town. There it is, the Overwatch nexus. Looks like they're mobilizing big time. You can sort of see the gate from here. I'll show you when we get to street level. We'll have to get in that building to open the gate. Even then, the suppression device will, uh, suppress anyone coming through unless we shut it down. Then let's go! You about. We'll have to come back here after we get it open. If we get it open. First, we gotta get into the next. Warning. Sorry. Vital signs critical.
Freeman? Oh, turrets. Hey, you've got the HEV suit. You deal with them. Then I'll work the security <laughs> Sorry, console. Man. Roll a grenade. Great, I'll open this up. Excuse me. Ships. They'll be coming from the roof. If we want to get through these shields, we'll have to take out the generators one at a time. Ships. They'll be coming from the roof. If we want to get through these shields, we'll have to take out the generators one at a time. If we want to get through these shields, we'll have to take out the generators one at a time. Generators to disable. Might as well start with this one. Hey, you've got Eli's gravity gun. Try giving those generators a jolt and see if you can shake them up a bit. Man, Overwatch owns the roof, and Here, that's where we're at. <laughs> Two more generators to go.
Try using the hoppers against them. Set some traps for them, Gordon. Don't forget to reload, Dr. Freeman. Wow. With that much security, there must be something good in there. Go for it, Doc. I'll wait here till you shut it down. <laughs> Something good in there. Go for it, Doc. I'll wait here till you shut it down. Be careful. Shut down the suppressor on the roof as well. Let's head for the roof 
out, Gordon. To the roof! Get out of the way! Roof access is this way. Follow me! There's our gate. Let me just get it open. Done. Dr. Freeman, wait. I'm gonna stay we'll here. Come with you. Keep these gates open long enough to make a difference. Go on up and connect the sky bridge. We need to let reinforcements come through from every possible direction. If any more citizens come through, I'll send them up to find you. See you when I see you, Gordon.
Dr. Freeman, since you shut off the suppressor and opened the gate, we can really move people through now. The Combine's gonna feel the squeeze. We dropped a crate of rockets coming across the plaza. If you can make it there, you should have everything you need to take down these striders.
mess out there. This close to the Citadel, they've turned the streets over to Striders. I think we can push them back if we can just get the high ground. We're almost to the Citadel wall, Doc. I don't know how the hell we're gonna breach it, but you've made it this far. I'm sure you'll think of something. We have to get to the horse!
Patch yourself up. came crashing through the plaza, knocking over walls, and I think he's looking for Alex. He seems to have it set in his head that she's in the Citadel. I figured Alex wouldn't want him getting any deeper in trouble, but hell, you try stopping him. Hey, dog, not there, you can't get through that way. I'll be damned. I think he wants you to go through, Gordon. You'd better hurry. And if you see Dr. Breen, tell him I said...
Security alert. Unregistered weapons detected. Confiscation field engaged. So this is Dr. Freeman. At last. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's neither a surprise nor, as you will surely agree, very pleasant. Well, I am nothing if not pragmatic. Freeman, under other circumstances, I like to think we might have been able to work together in an atmosphere of mutual trust and respect. Certainly judging from your brief tenure at Black Mesa while I was its administrator, you showed every promise of becoming a valuable and productive contributor to the scientific process. And yet, I'm not sure what spurred you to it. But there is really no place in this enterprise for a rogue physicist.
can. You have destroyed so much. What is it exactly that you have created? Can you name even one thing? I thought not.
I'll take him from here. Don't struggle. It's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. by vast meteorological intelligences. Worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. intersect. <laughs> Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, and then you deliver yourself. If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Alex, I need... Dad. Gordon? No. God damn you, Breen, you let her go! That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. <laughs> if that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. <sighs> oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Dr. Freeman? Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. Don't struggle, honey. Dad. I'm so sorry. Alex, Sula. Oh. Judith, what do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Don't... Hurry! Dad, hang on! You fool! Watch out, he's gonna- No! Dad! Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about me, honey. There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman... Judith, look after my father. Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. Gordon, we haven't known each other very long, but... I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you... Well, thanks for coming after me. It's me you should be concerned. Hey, listen. I 
can still deliver Earth, him. but not without your help. The portal destination is untenable. Surely you can set the relay elsewhere. There's no way I can survive in that environment. A host body? You must be joking. I can't possibly... There he is. Oh, all right. Damn it, if that's what it takes. Just hurry. He's right behind me. Oh, shit. Does he? I wonder where he's going. Oh my god. This is the Citadel's dark fusion reactor. It powers their tunneling entanglement device. We'll never have a chance like this again. We've got to stop Dr. Breen. shut it down. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. You'll have to go into the core and do what you can. Get in the elevator and I'll let you in. Don't forget to charge your wrist. Do your worst, Gordon. But be careful. This chamber will be bathed in deadly particles that have yet to be named by human science. Perhaps when I have the leisure to do the work myself, I'll name one of them after you. That way you won't be completely forgotten. When the singularity collapses, I will be far away from here, in another universe as a matter of fact. You, on the other hand, will be destroyed in every way it is possible to be destroyed, and even in some which are essentially impossible.
Dr. Freeman. Not for much longer, I think. If only you had harnessed your boundless energy for a useful purpose. Is it really that time again? It seems as if you only just arrived. You've done a great deal in a small time span. You've done so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but these are extraordinary times. Hmm? Rather than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you. If and when your time comes round again. I do apologize for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition, Dr. Freeman. I trust it will all make sense to you in the course of... Well... I'm really not at liberty to say. In the meantime, this is where I get off.